Hello there. Today, we will complete our lesson on work, energy and power. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify energy transfers that occur when work is done. Kids, from our previous lesson, we learned about the meaning of work, energy and power. Explain the meaning of potential and kinetic and kinetic energy. And also did some calculation involving work done. Now let's learn more about energy starting with the conversion of energy. The law of conversion of energy states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed but can be converted from one form to another. These forms of energy are very useful in our everyday life. When we chew food into small particles, mechanical energy is being used. When we swallow the food and it reaches our stomach, it undergoes a chain of reaction, thereby converting the mechanical energy into chemical energy. The chemical energy can further be converted into other forms of energy and can be utilized to perform various daily tasks such as playing, running, etc, etc. Also, the chemical energy in petrol is being converted to heat in the engine which makes the car move. The potential energy in wood is being converted into heat or light energy when we burn them. And many more. In our previous lesson, we defined energy as the ability to do work. Therefore, energy transfer from a source is equal to the amount of work done. Like work, like work, energy is measured in joules. An object has energy if it can exert a force that causes movement of the point of application of the force. Here are some examples of everyday energy transfers. Our first example is a bus that accelerates away from a bus stop and then maintains a steady speed. As the bus speeds up, the energy stored from the fuel and oxygen system of the bus is transferred into kinetic energy due to the motion of the bus. The rest of the energy is transferred to the surroundings. This takes place in a number of ways. Some energy is transferred as water exhaust gases and some energy is transferred to the heat, to heat by the action of forces of resistance. Once the bus is maintaining a steady speed, there is no increase in its kinetic energy. This means that the energy transferred from the fuel and oxygen is going to the surroundings. Our last example is an electric motor that lifts a load at a steady speed. When this happens, the load gains gravitational potential energy as it is lifted, that is, the energy it has due to the position above the Earth's surface. All the movement is at a constant speed, so there is no change in the kinetic energy of the system. As with the bus traveling at a steady speed, work done against resistive forces causes heating, and this energy is transferred as heat to the surroundings. Kids. We've come to the end of our lesson on work, energy, and power. Today, we stated the law of conversion of energy, explained energy transfers when work is done with examples. See you in the next lesson. Bye.